Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. And if you would like to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video where <clears throat> just click that link. It'll take you to my website and you can book a personal reading there with me. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am here Sunday through Thursdays with a new reading for you guys. And um, if you are a member of my channel, definitely, um, uh, thank you, definitely. <laughs> and if you would like to become a member, just go ahead and click the join button. That's all there is to it, okay. Now I wanted to welcome uh, some of you here and for some reason YouTube does not want to it looks like YouTube is not working right now so okay <laughs> uh, I'll get you next time I guess um, okay So, yes, to the new people, welcome to my channel, Royce Morris, Anna Rodriguez, Tiffany Conlin. We have some new members. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> okay, so let's get into your reading. And Tracy White, did I say Tracy White? Tracy White, okay. Okay. First card just flipped out. Hand of cards. Someone's taking a chance, taking a risk, being strategic. Options, not showing their hand, making, taking a gamble here. Okay. Let's see what else do you have. Okay, you've got the dragonfly, and we are in the year of the dragon, you guys. Can you feel the energy? Oh my gosh, so much going on. Some, oh, I've got hair here. Being lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing, and self-indulgence, focusing on self, self-worth, taking time to heal, doing some shadow work, and self-appreciation. Okay, so let's take a look and see what is going on here. Somebody is taking a risk this month, taking a chance. <clears throat> Being strategic, looking at all their options, not not revealing what they're about to do, taking a gamble. Let's see. Tell tell Virgo. Okay. All right. All right. So let's see. Wow, Virgo. It looks like someone's <clears throat> getting prepared, preparing to make some kind of a lifestyle change or make a change in their life okay let me get this down so you guys can see a little better here what's going on okay yes so it looks like it, it could be related to work but it feels like as far as a relationship goes here putting in the effort to do this has something to do with um Changing their life. Changing their life. What does this mean? Maybe going back to work or getting a damn job. You bum. <laughs> Not you. But uh, let's see here. Hold on a minute. Is somebody, I feel like they keep. All right. I knew that was going to show up. I knew the King of Swords was going to show up here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Somebody's thinking really hard about changing something in their life as far as the way they're living, okay? And getting some clarity about what they need to do. And it feels like it has to do with some type of work or skill. Um, how does this relate to Virgo? 
being more repetitive now for some putting in more effort oh that's what they're saying okay <clears throat> so in relation to you there is a person who will be significant in um april where it looks like because this is a lifestyle change it looks like this person had a habit or lived a lifestyle of being inconsistent of being someone who were okay uninspired lack of motivation perhaps someone who was just very misdirected as far as a relationship goes didn't know what they want is pretty much what that's coming out to I feel like there's someone here who didn't know really what they were misdirected maybe just kind of like floundering and that's a lack of commitment so as far as a relationship perhaps this is somebody you are already dealing with or someone new is showing up it's it's kind of like they get kind of like some smarts <laughs> you could have been dealing with someone or this they just had this energy maybe they were just chasing waterfalls following um their emotions and you know emotions can change up and down can go up someday you feel lit you know or whichever um not thinking logically about what they need to do not really thinking about uh, maybe realizing things hadn't worked out in their life or past relationships before or even with you because they were just inconsistent in their behaviors and it, i feel like with this hand of cards this person is kind of coming to terms with this okay um maybe they were gambling you know or just you know taking a lot of risks without really thinking about consequences and now even with this king of swords and the knight of swords this is about being more strategic in getting what they want and i feel like this person is coming to terms with the fact that they need to make changes in their life and in a relationship let's take a look this is pretty profound okay let's see this is no cup energy so it's like right now as i'm speaking the emotions are off the table this person is like really thinking like how am i going to get what i want either with virgo or just well with virgo how am i going to make this how do i make this work with virgo because virgo likes routine virgo likes consistency um safety security all of that and i feel like this person is really kind of like okay this this is what i need to do i have to be more stable right because the knight of swords in the reverse is someone who's restless someone who's unfocused impulsive no direction disregard for consequences right like they that's what i was saying unpredictable type of behavior so i feel here virgo that this is what this person is kind of like so when i say strategic like this is more so I'm going to show rather than just talk about it. I'm not going to say to Virgo, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to start showing up for work, <laughs> so to speak, right? Like you can, you can tell, tell your boss, you get a job, you can say, yeah, uh, here's my resume. Yeah, I'm going to show up for work. Yeah, I'm going to be here every day. Well, talk is like cheap. So this is more or less someone who's going to act, but they're not... They're not gonna they're not gonna say anything you're gonna know by their actions that they're making these changes so you'll see the consistency and I, I don't know i guess that must be something that's really important right now for you <clears throat> and for you to know oh there's healing yeah there's healing growing up somebody's kind of like getting more mature becoming more mature not so restless and reckless and impulsive you know um could be somebody's they maybe they realize that they've got nothing to show for the past really because of their impulsive decisions you know even with the hanged man it's like taking a pause 
letting go, getting a new perspective. I feel like somebody here is going through some kind of a change. And even with the dragonfly and self-indulgence, this makes me feel like this is some shadow work here that this person is doing. Okay, being lighthearted, things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. Oh yeah, definitely. So, you know, if this is a relationship that you're in with this person, looks like they're making some changes here. Let's take a look and see what else is going on. Hmm. Becoming inspired. Wow. Exploring. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe they're going to counseling or therapy or something. They're getting some kind of like a face back or repurposing, <laughs> you know, um, rejuvenating, rejuvenating the self, gaining some enlightenment, viewing things differently than before, just making some sacrifices, changing. Yeah, that's what I feel like is going on here. So I, f I definitely feel like in April, you will begin to sense that somebody is putting an effort into the relationship you know they they're, they're getting clarity they know what they need to do and that eight of pentacles is an energy of you know like putting in the effort showing towards a relationship or committing showing up every day what well, doesn't have to be every day it's just a figure of speech but like showing up consistently hmm well that's interesting virgo Adapting, changing, and healing. I'm just hearing being ready for this. For this to show up for you. So now here's the Queen of Wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign as, as well. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, masculine or feminine. Getting some courage. The Queen of Wands is all about that courage confidence independence being more f being focused having a purpose determination hmm that's interesting could be a, a, a fire sign uh leo sagittarius aries dragon could be born in the year of the dragon could be an air sign born in the year of the dragon let's take a look and see what else is going on here Wow. Okay. So that now that could also represent you, one of these cards too, where there's this like self-indulgence going through this shadow work yourself at this time. But I'm not really asking. I will ask about you in just a minute. But I feel like um, I, I see you getting some communication from someone, and I, you're gonna sense in their communication with you this enthusiasm this excitability this happiness this joy it's like they're so happy about what they've come to realize and so happy to talk to you but i don't feel like they're going to tell you they might tell you what they're doing they might give hints and stuff i feel like you're going to know it more by their actions but you will sense some type of change with this person Um, I'm feeling like um, for some of you this is a new love or a recommitment to a new love start here so I do feel like yeah look at that you know yesterday when I was showing you uh, I showed you a couple cards yesterday it was the eight of wands with the wheel of fortune after I finished that reading I looked again at that reading and I I noticed with the eight of wands and the wheel of fortune if it shows up here again I, I want to show you I've never seen this when I held those two cards together before but last night when I looked at the reading again I saw it that looks like a bunch of darts going towards a dartboard and I was thinking to myself wow I, number one I wish I had noticed that at the time but I was just thinking to myself and and I feel like this kind of relates to that reading yesterday that there, and if you didn't watch it, that it'll be at the end of the video. You can go and watch it again. Um, but I feel like what's happening now at, at this this time, this change, this season, 
kind of feel like someone is trying to hit the mark here with you with with all those darts and you're just going to keep trying you know to get to the the bullseye i feel like someone's trying to like i don't know find you find your g-spot i don't know <laughs> they're trying to get that bullseye doing whatever they can like to hit it on the mark to not the g-spot but to hit it on the mark to be on point to be on target with you that's kind of what I feel like this energy is now here as I'm remembering that. And that world card is like, you know what? The past is in the past. Time to start this new chapter. This person wants to have some kind of new start with you or just in their life and not go back to their old ways of being. Whatever that means. Like that dragonfly even here, when I look at this, I just feel like this is... Things are coming to them, coming to light. They know they need to adapt. They need, they need to make some changes. And they need to heal in order to have this happiness and this joy with you. And if, it feels like they're, but they're not saying anything just yet. Like you might kind of be saying to yourself, well, maybe they're going through these changes right now. They're healing. <clears throat> and if you, if you feel that way, you might also just be like, you know, I'm going to have to let them go on that journey. They're going to need to do that. And I feel like they are. I, I just don't see them really communicating so much and saying, hey, I've been to therapy. Or if they do, they might touch on it slightly, but not really say. They want to show. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to show. Yeah, here's the high priestess. So that's even... Kind of keeping things to themselves. This they have to, like oh, this is like sacred knowledge, and it's that kind of thing. Like you know, when you go through these changes in your life, you get this wisdom. It's so sacred, you know. Like you don't want to just, you don't want to go out, stand on your soapbox, and shout to the world that you've recovered from all your trauma. You know what I mean? It, because it's not really everybody's business. I mean, you might mention mention it to someone, but because now you've crossed over and you're in this position in your life now where you're healing and you've realized things and you want to just get out there and start living this better life, you don't really want to just sit and talk about it so much. You want to start enjoying your, your newfound <coughs> jewels here, your newfound discovery, and you want to start putting all this into action. You know, it's like if you find a treasure a, a treasure chest, you're not going to sit and talk about it for hours. You want to start getting everything out of there, wearing all the gold and, you know, living your life. I feel like that's what's happening here. This person is like falling on this treasure chest of wealth of information and realizations and awakenings. And instead of just spending all their time talking about how they screwed up or what this happened, what that happened, they want to start showing you all of their precious gems you know and, and why this urgency let's see because i do feel like there's an urgency why this urgency oh there you go four of wands it's a celebration they want to celebrate this with you For some of you, this is like maybe you've been in a separation, maybe from a divorce or a marriage or like, a, you know, something like that going on. Well, it's coming home time. For some of you, this person wants to come home. You being their home or uh, just come to you, be in harmony. Because you're home, you're home for them. They don't want to lose that, you know? And, and if this is someone you don't know, <coughs> man, I'm having trouble breathing today. Is this somebody you don't know? Like this is somebody new? Because a page of cups can be a new love. This person is ready. I, I feel like they don't want to waste any more time. They're ready for this four of wands. It's, they're 11-11. They don't want to waste any more time. So, you know, you could meet them. And it would make sense why they wouldn't go into this long diatribe about their past. They might tell you some things that they learned, but now they want to show it. 
that they can be the best that they can be for you or, or just just in general you know there's a there's some I hate using the word to grow up because it can be taking taken in such a derogatory way but there's a level of maturity that somebody's reaching here <coughs> where it's either ready to like you know have that committed relationship or marriage or have something long term meet the family you know I don't know if this like I feel like this person was restless in the past even if you knew them and there was the meeting of the family I don't know I just don't feel like they were ready to make changes looks like they are looks like they are let's take a look at you so yeah pretty much I feel like you will if you know if, if this is somebody you reconnect with or someone that is new coming in for you um, I could be talking to both of you different scenarios here I feel like you're gonna see this is gonna be something that's gonna feel right for you It'll feel good and and so what are we just talking about here we're talking about a healthy relationship non-toxic let's take a look at you Virgo what's your energy oh huh. Virgo you got the nine of swords what's going on Virgs a little bit of anxiety worry fear depression nightmares insomnia feeling hopeless trauma despair why oh in relation to a king of wands you're stressing about a king of wands Virgo it's interesting because this king of wands <laughs> or look at that it says Scorpio and Sagittarius huh well maybe you have a someone on the cusp or maybe you have a connection with a Scorpio and a Sag or a Sag <coughs> excuse me let's take a look uh, can you hear me wheezing out what the heck's going on <coughs> I've had such a migraine all day and I feel like <coughs> it's not gonna go away today must be the weather three swords okay there's three people one two three you and two other people could be a past and a new person or two people that you're currently dealing with oh Virgo's like I'm stressing because I don't know like who's got the better eh, eh. <laughs> no I'm kidding <clears throat> there's an opportunity for new growth here maybe you have a choice to make between two people who's going to be the one for you somebody new who's ready to commit or somebody who's returning who's ready to change and make those sacrifices that's mm. wow look at this energy these swords nine of swords anxiety fear worry three of swords heartbreak suffering grief emotional pain sorrow hurt divorce loss depression and the eight of swords negative thoughts self-imposed restrictions imprisonment victim mentality entrapment Virgo a plus B equals see your way out of the situation Virgo you're stressing yourself out you're worrying too much um, what's the answer here for Virgo what does Virgo need to do <sighs> Queen of Swords Ten of Cups. Is that the first cup card? Oh, King of Cups. Looks like you need to have a conversation either with an air sign or a water sign. Now this water sign does say Aquarius and Pisces. Or you may need to have a conversation with another Virgo or with yourself or with a Libra. But it's in regards to divine love, harmony, a blissful relationship, fulfillment total love and support and contentment true family family contentment looks like a conversation you need to have or 
either with yourself or with a king of cups what is this con i mean it has to do with completion a final manifestation a realization recognition or an ending hmm Wow. That Queen of Swords represents unbiased judgment, clear boundaries, and direct communication, being clear minded and also perceptive. You have to cut through the thick smoke because where there's smoke there's fire and get at the heart of a matter straight forward communication straight talk not necessarily asking questions but maybe stating your boundaries your purpose so what you want what you're looking for or what you need either in regards to a relationship in general or with someone in particular This is your advice because you're stressing. You just need to be clear. So I kind of feel like if you have your own business or if you, you know, work for someone, but let's say you're hiring people, you're in hire, like the hiring department, you're hiring people to come and work for you. You're doing interviews, Virgo. You know, the person doing the interview has, has a list of questions they're supposed to ask, or you make them yourself, but you have like a, a script, so to speak. There's things you wanna know. You gotta do a little interviewing here. Are you capable, how capable, on a scale of one to 10, you gotta ask somebody, right? How capable, willing, and motivated are you to have a, a committed relationship? You gotta kind of vet it, vet somebody out. You gotta have this conversation. You might not have ever had a conversation like that. You might have been more like, okay, well, you know, we just fell in love and we spent a lot of time together and no one ever really perhaps drew any lines or boundaries in the relationship about what the either, either one was looking for. There was just kind of like, a lot of people don't like to rock the boat because they don't want to get an answer that says, well, I like being with you, but I don't want to commit a relationship. And the problem why, see, if you kind of, I feel like cut that off at the pass, you don't have to worry about using, losing years, you know? I mean, I know that there's a lot of schools of thought on relationships, you know? Oh, uh, let's just see where it goes. I think that's so stupid. <laughs> it's just my personal opinion. What do you mean? Let's see where it goes. You know, that's fine if we're just going to take a road trip and for the weekend let's just go explore but if you're serious about dating and you're looking for a relationship with someone that you know has it's not just about love love is a decision but you you want to make sure that the person that's coming into your life and is trying to be in your life is in a certain mindset because lots of people can come in everybody's got different goals and desires and achievements and it really doesn't matter what anybody else wants as much as you're clear with what you want and then finding someone who's going to be able to match that energy you know just going along to get along you can waste years you could find yourself like in a, in a really bad position if you have an intention like if you're hiring someone right say on a job your intention is to hire someone for the position if they say, well, you know, let's just see where it goes. <laughs> they could be like, no, I'm not hiring you. Sorry, we're looking for someone who's committed, who can do the work, who's gonna show up every day. You know, as soon as somebody shows up in the interview and it's like, well, you know, I just, I just, you know, I don't know some, I don't know, I'll just see how it goes. If I like the job or not, I might just quit right when it's super busy and you need me. You know, like it's just too unreliable. I feel like whoever's coming in here, though, is going to be the person that sits down in the chair and is like, well, I really want a job. 
what do you have to offer? And you come g- t- correct and tell them. And then they'd be like, yeah, that's going to work for me. <laughs> I know it sounds so practical and logical. Who does that in relationships, right? When we're dating. Who does that? We just want to have a couple of drinks and just get all the feel goods on, right? But that's, you know, it depends on what you're looking for, Virgo. If you're looking for this long-term thing, you know, and having a new love start with someone, you, I don't, somewhere someone said that people, I think a lot of guys who are players give the advice to women and they say, women, don't ever ask a guy what he's looking for or anything like that. Just, you know, take it easy, take it slow. These are the types of guys that are giving bad advice. Because, no offense, guys, but y'all just sometimes are dumber than a box of rocks. No offense. You need direction. (laughs) And women are very directed. I love you guys here in the chat. Don't get me wrong. It's not all of you. But I understand that guys are just kind of... I know I'm 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 genderifying here people but nay what is what it is most guys are pretty much like oh well if she likes me and I like her then hey we'll just see where it goes and that's fine if you're just gonna get together once in a while and walk your dogs together but if there's a woman who's looking not she's not looking to lock it down she, I think a woman generally, and I'm really getting into this, and I probably shouldn't, but I really think a woman generally is just looking for a safe, secure relationship with someone. That's generally all it is, you know? And I think a woman is allowed, and I think you guys, the men too, you're allowed to be like, hey, if you're coming here and you want to be a part of Team Kelly or Team Ken, you're going to have to like show up and, and put in that effort show me you want to be a part of this this uh the team here (laughs) you know so i think it's okay to do that so if you're that person that's listening and you haven't been direct and clear and you just kind of like well i'll just accept anybody that would even have me you're in the wrong you're in the wrong group you're in the wrong place with that attitude just state what you want virgo just say what you want look this is what i want can you make that happen on your end and here's what i'm willing to offer you know just like in the job you know it's it's a negotiation it's a it's a con it's a little talk back and forth you know the company is going to tell you oh, well if you take the job here's what we're going to give you you're going to get these benefits you're going <laughs> to you're going to get vacation you're going to get pay raises every whatever three months six months this is what we're willing to offer yeah look here you go page of pentacles this is kind of being like look this is what we're going to offer you here's all our plans here's my plan here's my idea so i feel like for you you can you can say what you want and then you can also say and this is what you get if you take it if you take the job (laughs) i know it sounds so cold and callous i'm referring to this like a job but honestly it's relationships are partnerships and if you guys wind up living together you're sharing finances that's a business arrangement if you get married yeah sure it's for love but it's also a partnership and everything has to be taken into account everything believe me i know i have been married i know i have gone the distance in that and it isn't just about love and i know a lot of you know that All right, there's the uh, Eight of Wands. So I feel like this person is going to tick some boxes for you. They're going to tick those boxes in April. There's definitely a change. Now, if you are having this conversation, you're being direct with this person, that's where this whole lifestyle change comes in. Do you know what I mean? So if you say to somebody, like if you just meet them and you say, well, this is what I'm looking for. You know, I'm not, I don't really want to get into like dating 10, 20 different people for the next five years. I'm done with shopping or I am going to date others and see whoever is the best candidate will work for me, whichever. Somebody here is going to be like, no, I can tick all those boxes. I want what you have to offer. I want to be a part of Team Melly or Team Bella or Team Ralph. I want to be a part of Team Carlos, you know? This is what I want to do. Yeah. 
but you have to be I feel like your advice here is to be clear crystal clear and then you know you weed things out much quicker when you're just upfront and honest you're not going to scare. If you scare anybody away, let me tell you this. If you're upfront and honest and you scare somebody away, they weren't the right person. No sense in getting into, well, let me just kind of segue, you know. But also, be mindful. There are people out there that will, if you tell them what you want, they'll just tick those boxes and then they'll tick the boxes for a little while until they get tired of ticking the boxes. So... Be a little suave with what it is that you give out you know um, you could tell somebody yeah I would like to get married someday and and then they might say to you well what kind of person you're looking for and your best answer is I don't know I'll know it when I when I meet them and that is gonna make somebody try to f work hard to be the person to be that one for you you know you could just say oh well they got to be you know six foot three they got to work here they gotta do this and that person will then it's very easy for them to tick all those boxes i think you and then you know give you what you want and then what happens they quit after a while you know it's kind of like a, in a job you know when there's no job that you go to where they don't put you on 90 day probation first to see if you're going to stick around right so i feel like we could avoid all of this all of these problems in life if we're just clear and direct in our communication with people if you want to go and play games and get in on all the game playing you can if that you know if that's something you want to do and you have your own style you want to make things happen but i i just feel like for you you don't have to be mean just be sort of like hey hey look here's a sword this is what i'm willing to give how about you and then you'll know right you just know um, one more card, please, for Virgo. There you go. The Magician. Manifesting. Taking action. Creating. Manifesting. Having the power. The self-confidence. Giving clarity. Strong willpower. Being creative. Putting all your cards, laying all your cards out on the table. And making the magic happen in your life. You know, you are not destined to just whatever comes down the pipe. That, you know, you, you can... You're not a victim. You don't have to accept whatever comes. You have choices, your free will. And you have, you have choices in every single thing you do and every single thought you think. You know, you have free will, you have choices. You are not, if you're feeling trapped or like you're in jail, you're allowing yourself to be there. The key is in your pocket. Unlock it. Unlock those jail bars. Get yourself out of that. You have the free will. Even if you have been dumped, somebody let you go. Wherever they left you, you don't have to stay there. You can get up and move. You're not a tree. All right. Let's go on to the next thing here. What do we want to know? What else does Virgo want to know? All right, you got deeply loving male. That's either you or that's this person showing up here. And that would be water energy there, masculine or feminine. Very emotional. <laughs> and then you've got the bossy male, masculine or feminine. So like I said, for some of you, there might be a choice between two people. This is fire energy. So you could have a fire and water choice. Bossy male could even could even be. It could be air. You could have uh, earth that you're dealing with. But it feels like there's a there's two. <clears throat> or it's you and the other one. It's you and another person that you need to make a decision about. Either how to interact going forward with them. As far as what you need to say to someone everything that i talked about there okay so those there's two definitely two showing up okay so you've got illusion right now there's a lack of clarity right this minute um 
I feel like you need to trust your intuition, especially if you're in doubt of a situation and you need to wait until more information is available because you don't have enough evidence for something. There's a lack of evidence for something. So, you know, if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. That's how I feel what's going on here. You're, you're, you're investigating something, Virgo, and you can't really, it's not a case closed situation yet. Your gut's telling you something, but I don't feel like you can convict until you have enough information regarding some situation or something, okay? That, and I feel like that's, they're letting you know, just wait till more evidence, more facts are revealed. And I don't know if it has anything to do with what I was talking about, but okay. You also have learning a new skill. So, hmm. Something that you need to learn or you're working on learning something, learning something new. Okay. So arguments and separation in the reverse, which is good. Because I feel like there's going to be communication coming back together to resolve maybe some arguments or something that happened between you and another person. That's on the table for sure for April. There's going to be this. Let's resolve something here after an argument. Possibly even apologies and co coming back together. You know, we're in Mercury retrograde. Oh, gosh, I forgot all about that. And I heard it last night. And it makes a lot of sense. There's definitely you and a friend that were separated. And there's a coming back together. So there's a lot of a return thing. Or maybe you and some friends that you've had some falling outs with. I feel like you guys are going to resolve some issues or some problems. Work things out, I'm hearing. Anything else for Virgo? All right, and then back to the risk. Some of you, the risk is to communicate. To not be in a reactive state. To not overthink something. Just state directly. Just speak directly. And taking a risk, there's something coming up here in April. You might feel like you're starting over. But you're being advised here to spread your spread your wings and something. Take take a leap of faith in regards to something. It could be a, a new relationship, maybe with this person here, or letting go and starting over. I just saw the apology card. So for some of you, yeah, that's just a confirmation. If there was some kind of separation due to an argument, I feel like that's going to get resolved in April. Let's see. All right, ooh, you've got a true love also showing up here. There's a true love. And someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. Someone has regret. Your true love. Okay, it's safe to trust in this situation. Okay. Trust your intuition. You already know the answer that you seek. You have a decision. It's time to decide about a relationship. Is it stable? Can it stand the test of time? Well, the Four of Wands was there, so that does represent stability. That's like... That's like the frame framing out a house. Whenever something... Or building something... Like when I was building my website over the past week, I needed to frame the whole website out first before I filled in all the colors and the texture, uh, the text and the pictures and, you know, things that I wanted to say. I needed to frame the whole thing out first, just like building a house, just like a relationship. You need to frame it out first. You know, what are we building here? Like first, before we even begin to put anything into this relationship, we need to have a foundation poured first. Foundation needs to be built. You can't build anything on quicksand or mud. You, you could put posts in there, but the ground, the floor is gonna be all muddy and yucky. You need a firm 
foundation to be built first. You've done the work. Once you do that, the abundance will flow to you. Here's your soulmate. So, you know, it's it takes two to tango, right, Virgo? That's what I feel like the message is here. You and another person need to figure some stuff out. How's gonna how how are you gonna do this? How's it gonna work? What does it look like? Do you have the blueprints before you even pour the foundation? Framing out what are the blueprints? What's this relationship gonna look like? You've got somebody showing up here who it seems to me is gonna show show you that they're like they're showing up with their tool belt, Virgo. Like, let's get to work. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm going to make these changes. You know? And I feel like it's it's either they're going to show up first, and then you're going to have the conversation, the direct conversation with them about what you want. That could just be your input. Well, you know, I'd like to have a, I don't know, a, a swimming pool on the foundation. Or, I'd like, you know, I'd like the, the bedroom window to face the east, you know? There's, it takes two. You got to have that input. Was what I feel, and that's going to happen here. It's not a one-sided relationship, you know. The house you're building this together. So either you're going to directly say it, and then they're going to come with the tool belt, ready to work, and be consistent and show up every day, or they're going to come first, and then you're going to talk maybe to them, but make sure you communicate. Don't be afraid to communicate. Don't be afraid to say, well, you know, this is what's going to work for me. And if they say, well, that's not going to work for me, then say, all right, well, let's see if we can both find something that's going to work for us both, you know? I know, you want to get into all the love and how do they feel and all that stuff. And I, I think that's very important, but I also think it's important to look at the other aspects too, you know? Oh, I'm so excited about building this house. I love the way I, the idea, I love it. How do you feel? Oh, it's going to be so great, but it's not going to happen unless we actually get down on our, you know, get in there and do the work. Ugh, where is this all coming from? I don't even know. <clears throat> it's coming from partnerships, making, making something work. It takes two to tango. And if somebody's like, nah, I, I don't know how to use a hammer or I don't know how to pour concrete, you know, you're going to be like, okay, well, you could show them or you can go hire someone to do it and give them a different job you know I don't, i'm going off on a tangent here about house maybe somebody's a carpenter or builds homes for a living i don't know construction works in construction where are my okay let's take a look at the chinese signs here my goodness this is going on i felt like it was more like a lecture what the hell what's going on all right starting with the year of the horse this could be you and your person year of the dog year of the pig Year of the rabbit, year of the tiger, year of the rooster, year of the monkey, year of the rooster again, and year of the rat, okay? It's either you or your person or both of you or none of you, all right? Just take it as it resonates. Let's see. Let's get some initials. So we have the letter A and we have a J. AJ, someone's 34, 1982. Let's see what signs are showing up here. Sagittarius, twice. Aquarius, Cancer. Who else? Capricorn, Cancer. Aries, Gemini. Capricorn, Leo. Libra, Sag. I think that was it. All right, let's see. All right, letter T, the letter O. 1989. The letter I. A T O. A T O. Oh, there's a heart. There you go. Silver heart. August 31st. The letter A again. Letter T. Ta ta. Or Toto. What the heck? All right, let's see. You've got. Um, September 21st, August 29th, someone is 53. Also, a snowflake has fallen. So some of you might be getting some serious snow right now, like a spring snow. Um, also, something very significant will be occurring during the snowy season. So maybe in the winter. Where there's a, there's a significant attachment to the snow or snow season. Or someone was acting, was being a snowflake, and now they're not being flaky anymore. 
um, the letter D. We have September 16th, 1966, or the age 66. We have someone's 45, 48. Letter A again. Somebody's calling triple A. Letter W, someone was born in April. Um, Washington, Ohio, again, Texas. Mm. Armenia, Armen Armenia, Armenia, I just heard, is that, a, or, or someone's Armenian, 1968, oh, okay, Lithuania, I'm just getting, letter Q, September 7th, okay, September 1st, and they're just saying Estonia, Estonia, Give me another September birthday and August. All right, so we've got September 5th. September 1st. The 7th and the 12th. The 14th and August 24th. Okay. And one more charm. And then I'm going to close out. Boy, this reading was long tonight. Oh, there's the rabbit again. I love this. I saw this on Easter. Oh. It's interesting because this rabbit has like a suit of the card suit, has a card suit jacket on. Hmm. Which is starting at the beginning of this reading with all those cards there with the hand of cards. See the suit? The Ace of Spades. That's the Ace of, of Swords there. So new communication, overcoming obstacles, initiation. So I think this is from Alice in Wonderland, this rabbit. Or maybe something happened on Easter. That was March 31st. That was very profound or significant for you in a positive or negative way, whichever. But I also feel like he's holding a scroll. He's like a messenger. I feel like he's holding like uh, like a scroll or some kind of... There's some news coming in for you. Yeah, he's got like a scroll. There's some news coming in. You're going to get some news. I don't even know what to call this reading. So I'm just probably going to say, holy sh... What the heck's going on? So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope that you got some clarity from this. I know it's kind of long. So hey, that's a good thing. I know you like it long, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow for your weekend reading coming up this weekend, and we have that, oh my gosh, that eclipse is on the 8th, and yes, it is the pink full moon on April 23rd, and I was seeing that pink moon yesterday, so that will be significant, the pink moon. Um, thank you everyone for commenting about that. I, I knew, I thought I heard about it, but I wasn't hundred percent sure if that's what it was this month but yeah we are in the retrograde so if you got any funky stuff going on right now telecommunication wise electricity all that stuff maybe even the past returning in some form or another pay attention to that or if you notice it we are in the retrograde yep definitely going through it so thanks everybody for joining Thank you um, for booking your readings with me. Again, the link is in the description box below this video. Um, so if you want to book a reading, go ahead and book it. You can even do text message reading. And on my website, if you go to my website, down at the bottom, okay, my website, you'll see it on my link tree. It just says my website. If you sign up, put in your email address, you'll get a free Twin Flame ebook delivered right to your email instantly so go over to my website subscribe put in your email sign up to all the new members and you get a free twin flame ebook that will be sent to you directly through your email okay all about 11 signs you've met your you've got your twin flame here all right so whatever it's free go for it go get it all right you guys have a great night and i will see you all back here tomorrow Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, 
please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.